Well, hello. So this is where I last left you guys last week. So fun story. We're actually heading back to Indiana for the week. Surprise! So Zane's mother, she's got a little health thing going on. So she has a few procedures this week. So we're heading home to kind of like help her out, be there, do whatever around the house she needs help with. So that's what we're going to be doing for the week. We're going to be going back to Indiana. Not excited. So listen here first, folks. If you think this is going to be another fun, fabulous Caleb and Zane vlog, it is not. We will be in rural Indiana doing rural Indiana things, but I am going to take you guys along for the ride. I will show you all that I can. It's going to be a lot of good food, though. Like, if there's one thing Northeast Indiana does right, it's food. Be prepared for some really good food. There's going to be some good car shots. Maybe, maybe a pinch of shopping if there's time. And if, if Laura's feeling up to it, who knows? It's going to be an interesting week, so come along for the ride. And the bag that I'm taking with me for the week is none other than the Givenchy Pandora that we ended the last vlog on. You guys, this bag is fabulous. It holds everything you need. It's fun, it's chill, it's a vibe. I mean, Northeast Indiana, it's not a fashion show. I said what I said, safe space. I can say that, I'm from there. <laughs> but yeah, aside from an army of Samsonite luggage, is it Samsonite? That's a lie. Swiss gear, who plays Samsonite anymore? Um, it's gonna be a pretty pared back week. Minimal jewelry, if any at all. A lot of t-shirts, you guys, like this is gonna be, this is an Indiana vlog. Get with it. All right, so we've made it to Goshen and we're stopping for dinner at... So Culver's update, he's fine, it's okay. It didn't really taste like anything. Uh, I said what I said, save space, don't judge me. It was no Shake Shack, I'll say that. Normally when we go out for burgers back home, we'll do like Shake Shack or Five Guys. Like those are our two like go-tos for burgers. This just didn't taste like much. Cheese curds were okay. Yeah, the Dr. Pepper was good. Thought about getting a concrete mixer, but it is busy in there. So we're in this um, small town, as you can tell. Everything is closed except for like this and like two other places. So clearly everyone ended up over here, which is fine. It's fine. Zane ran back in to refill the pop before we head out. We're only about 55 minutes away, he said, and I'm kind of ready to be there already and just like get out of the car. Guys, listen, so normally like I'm used to whenever we want to go somewhere, we're there in like 30 minutes. O'Hare Airport, 30 minutes. Downtown, 35, 40, depending on how Zane drives. This has been a trek. And before, when Zane was still living in Fort Wayne, just talking about you, and uh, I was in Chicago by myself, Chicago land, um, I would just fly home. So I'd Uber to the airport, fly home. This has been a journey. We were just like realizing things, finding ourselves, eating bland food. I, I was telling them it didn't taste like anything. It's that's like, Culver's for you. That's Culver's for you. Um, the cheese curds were good, but I think it's just because they oversalted them. They were even bland. For a second there, I was like, do I have the you-know-what? Because I can't taste anything, but I'm like, no, the Dr. Pepper tastes good, so. I had the spicy chicken. Was it spicy? No. No. <laughs> no. 
Mm -hmm. Not spicy. And then they forgot my bacon and I had to go back in and ask for bacon. It was annoying. Uh, I'm proud of you for doing it. Thank you. Assertive Ness, who knew? Let's hit the road. We're on the last stretch of this journey and then we'll be in small town USA. Yay. Yay. Gotta love it. Also, I think my Givenchy Pandora got a few stars while we were here. I'm sure it did. Love that for me. All right, guys, let's go. Even the GPS is suggesting we just turn around. <laughs> Holy cow, did I not sleep last night? I'm all spoiled, I'm used to my Tempur-Pedic back home. But for like three or four months before Zane joined me in Chicagoland, he lived in our old apartment in Fort Wayne. And that's where we kept all the furniture. Like I literally had like a lawn chair, the PS5 and an air mattress in our very tiny two bedroom apartment. I slept just fine on that air mattress, but last night, holy cow. I'm surprised my back's not like totally locked up because it wasn't pretty. Zane eventually got up and slept on the guest bed. No, last night was a little rough. However, no, we got in safely, sat up, talked with his mom for a while and just hung out and talked to the cats. And it was, it was a nice evening, um, just didn't sleep very good. So today we're heading into Fort Wayne for day one of like the treatment procedures and stuff. I think it's gonna go pretty good. Today's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be weird to be back in Fort Wayne a few days this week. Knowing Fort Wayne, probably not much, but Let's go have a good day. All right, guys, so that is day one in the books. She did really well. She did really well. She was in good spirits, came out in a good mood. She said she didn't feel anything. Yeah, just like, what was it, like lasers or something? Yeah, it's concentrated radiation points. They had to put little um, tattoos to where the lasers would go. No, she did really good. She's got like a little bit of lung cancer, just like a little spot. Just a, just a tiny. We're all starving. We never had breakfast. We never had breakfast. We didn't have any brekkie. So we're going to go to Casa, uh, Casa Grill on DuPont, which we haven't had since we moved, but it's so good. It's like a local family restaurant. We're going to go do that, and then Zany's stay at a car wash because we had a lot of bugs last night. You excited? I haven't had this in like two or three years, so I am super excited. Mm. Are you excited? Oh yeah. What are you gonna get? Who knows? Who knows? We shall see. is because the white side is so good. Anyway, guys, there's a Goodwill right around the corner and Zane's like twisting my arm and making me go, so. <laughs> I totally am. Oh, so we're gonna wow. go do that. We need to hit a car wash and then we're gonna go home and take naps. Neither of us slept very well, so wish us luck with the nap. Okay, so that was a bust. Next up, the car wash.
pretty well rested. However, we only have like 30 minutes to get down to the dairy tree and get ice cream treats, which is kind of a big deal. Kind of. So we're power walking through town. It's just on the other side of town, which isn't that big. It's like a city block, but. <laughs> So we made it in time. I got a vanilla milkshake because just had a chocolate cone. It's under the old ownership, but like there's a person in between, so they kind of changed up a few things. Um, they don't have my curly fries anymore or my grilled cheese, which is kind of a bummer. So if we go there for dinner one night, I'm gonna have to figure out what to do. Anyway, super good. Hey guys and happy Tuesday. Today we got off to a really slow start because I slept terribly last night. This air mattress you guys is doing me real dirty this week. I don't know if I have too much air in it, not enough air in it, but it is not comfortable. So I haven't really slept. Anyway, it's Tuesday afternoon and we've had a slow start to the day after a couple cups of coffee. We're gonna head into the next town over and we're gonna do some thrifting today. And I would love to get like a salad or something. I feel like I've eaten terribly this week. So yeah, some healthy lunch, some thrifting. It's gonna be a vibe. Let's hit the road. Goodwill. Wish me luck. Goodwill. Bust. We're about to go into uh, Salvation Army, which I do not condone. There's literally nothing to do, so I'm open to browsing. And then we're gonna go eat. Then we're gonna go eat. There's McAllister's apparently across the street somewhere, and I just want a salad. I just want like healthy, healthy things. Food. Oh, and they've got sugar cookies. Hey guys, and welcome to Wednesday. The week is halfway done. What have we done so far today? Not a lot. I slept a lot better though last night. Zane swapped beds with me. I slept up on the mattress. Zane took the air mattress. I slept better. Not great, but much better. So I'm feeling a little bit more rested. He's currently running into, I don't know if you guys can see, Starbies, which you boy needs some coffee. And uh, then we're gonna head over to the oncology place, do the thing, and then go out to lunch. It's gonna be another slow, chill day. Maybe I can twist Zane's arm to take me to the outlet. Here comes my handsome husband with my coffee. Are you excited to have coffee? Oh, I'm thrilled. I'm just thrilled. A couple of vanilla blonde iced lattes, and I got a lemon loaf. I could tell. Me too. <laughs> day two treatment is done. 
Yeah. And now we're going to go to the Texas Roadhouse. How exciting. I have a gift card, apparently. They think they bought it for me. I really don't know where it came from. <laughs> we so we're going to go have steak, I guess. I'm not. You're not, but I will. And then I think Zane's going to drag me to a video game store. It's right down the road. Like, we, literally right there. Can we go to Half Price then, too? Yeah, that's fine. Can I go to the outlet? No. That's all the way. That's like 45 minutes north. Well, <laughs> Just kidding, Texas Roadhouse isn't open until 4, so we're at Logan's. You can kind of see behind me there. Yeah. Which is good because I love Logan's Rolls, and apparently whatever I had the last time at Logan's, if you guys remember... From our Thanksgiving vlog. From our Thanksgiving vlog, I really enjoyed what I had, but I can't remember what it Maybe is. Maybe you need to open that vlog up. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go get some lunch, I'm starving. Alright guys, so the video store was a bust, or a video game store. They didn't really have much. No, it was not the best. Not the best. And I was looking for more PSP and PS Vita games because that's what I have. And they, they never have any, or if they do, it's like in like a reprinted case, which is not the vibe. Anyway, we're about to go to Half Price Books, but we're going to go in the back door. Do you want to see it? Alright, so we have to go around this fence, up the staircase, and down a little brick alley. So let's get started. <laughs> I didn't care for my Logans, you guys. It just tasted like a greasy hot chicken sandwich. And our waiter was kind of a jerk. Is that what he said? Safe space? Safe space, you guys. I used to be a waiter, so I can judge other waiters. It's fine. Servers, whatever you want to call them. This is where the half price books end up that don't get bought. They say recycle them. That we know of. They could be going to the landfill. And here's the little brick alley, the back door. I feel like I'm in Europe. Oh, it's very European. Also European. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Oh, good thing we did park downstairs. Yeah. Like their paint or something. So, minor success, thanks to Zay. Hey guys, and happy Thursday. Yes. Yeah. So today we're up and about. We're going to go and meet some of Zane's old co-workers and friends for lunch. Why is there a question mark? Today? I don't know. I'm tired. Um, no, we're going to go meet them for lunch at Mad Anthony's. I'm not going to like shove the camera in their face, but I'll show you what I eat. Because I know that's like super exciting that's for so you. Exciting. And then afterwards, I think Zane's going to drag me to a Starbucks where he's going to work on the computer. Yeah, I need a table. So that's the day today. Come join us. It'll be chill. All right, so lunch is over. Lunch was delicious. Mm -hmm. However, my beers made me very sleepy. <laughs> yeah. I was like sitting there like, oh, like I had a lot of fun, but my, my beer is really, whew, hit me, I'm a lightweight, apparently. So we're gonna go get some coffee. Zane's gonna work on Friday's vlog. Mm -hmm. And yeah. That's it. That's it. Chill day. Chill day. Chill Thursday.
So real talk, I received an offer on eBay for a Muse 2 for only $134. Do I do it? I think I will. Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. So today's the last day of Laura's treatment. So she, I think she'll get to ring the bell, which is exciting. Yeah, it's just been like a chill morning so far. What have we done? Not much. We uploaded the vlog for this afternoon. Well, it's still uploading. It's still uploading. It takes a minute here. Might be there, may not. You never know with the yeah. internet here. But no, super chill day. Excited. Today's Friday. Final day of treatments and everything. Let's go to Fort Wayne. And but first, I need like something to eat or some Starbies. <sighs> a little hungry. Yep. <laughs> So Zane ran in to get our Starbies. Love that for me. I got the egg bites and the vanilla blonde latte because the Starbucks is literally like lying wrapped around the building. Like not gonna lie, a little intense. I'm gonna say something a little judgmental. I don't know how we lived here. It is so boring, you guys. Like I am dying. There is nothing to do. Like I tried to door dash something earlier this week and everything was closed at like 8.30. Why? It's been a good week so far, but I mean, I'm ready to get back to my, my bed and my my little my little apartment my tiny apartment and i love my givenchy pandora oof i'm ready to change though honey i am so ready to change i think i'm gonna twist zane's arm though because it is literally friday and he has not taken me to the outlet yet which is a huge shame because it's literally like 15 minutes away from his parents house well that's probably an exaggeration but i just want to go to the outlet it's the one thing i wanted to do just the one thing let's go to the outlet that's making me wait Wow. wow! Is this my coffee? It's your coffee. Thank you. Thank you for our food. Our food. Thank you so much. <laughs> hey. All right, guys. So treatment is finally done. Laura has rung the bell. Woo woo woo! It was, I think she did pretty good. Yeah. It was pretty easy treatment. It was just like- For her. A, for her, a radiation laser? Basically. And some tattoos, which I'm kind of worried she's gonna become like a tattoo lady. Now they're permanent, yeah, she has permanent tattoos. No, I think she's gonna like want real ones. Oh, she's gonna want more? Oh. Mark my words, by the end of next year, Laura will have an actual tattoo. She's I like, can I feel it. Her. I can feel it. Super excited for Laura. She did great, five stars. Decent, good treatment. Very good. She treatment. was very happy. All right, welcome to the sad mall that I had to grow up with. It is even sadder than it was when I was a kid. The Banana Republic's now gone. And it's uh, eh, probably about 10 years away from being a dead mall. Let's go explore. I guess. All right guys, so this used to be a Sears. You would come in through this way and this would be like the men's clothing. We get our furniture places like that. I don't even know what that is. Oh, look, they added modern oh, lights. Bob's discount furniture. Oh, wow. It's modern. <laughs> so all this used to be Sears. And now you have to step outside to get to these stores, which makes no sense. Anyway, let's check out what HomeGoods has to offer.
Hey guys, happy Saturday. We are heading home and Zane has to update or edit edit tomorrow's video. So I'm driving. Only in the Indiana Look, Ma, no hands. Um, Only Indiana. As lane assist, we'll be fine. Anyway, we're going to hit Michigan City on the way home to go to an outlet because I think I've been talking about an outlet all week long now. It's gonna, we're just going to take our time. It's Memorial Day weekend. It's going to be freaking crazy. So we're, we just have nowhere to be. Take it in, folks. This doesn't happen often. <laughs> I'm dripping. <laughs> Okay, guys, so we just finished having lunch at the Panera. I have a gripe. I have a couple of gripes, actually, for you. Why? Can I gripe? Go ahead. So they keep deleting the food that I like to eat there, which is fine. I'm down to a grilled cheese and the tomato soup now. However, I don't like chunky tomato soup. Like, I'm fine with some chunks. But, like, don't just, like, basically put a tomato in there and, like, microwave it and call it soup. Like, anyway, that's... It was good. I, I caught up on my comments. Zane finished editing the video. We're just taking our time getting home because it's Memorial Day weekend and it's going to be slow anyway. It's going to be busy. Oh, is it continuing going on? Oh, beautiful. I'm going to flip you guys around and show you her dress. It's stunning. We just missed it. Oh my God, it was beautiful. So that was a nice surprise. We needed a car wash because we've been driving through the country all week love that for us pulled into mike's and like oh, are you here for the free wash i'm like what do you mean today apparently or like all weekend they're doing like customer appreciation free washes and not just like a free quick wash like it's the ultimate with like the ceramic coating the the wheels and whatever undercarriage it's kind of a vibe so we got a free car wash next up we're gonna go to a tj maxx that has a special significance So what's so special about this random TJ Maxx in the absolute middle of nowhere, you ask? I love that about you, Stay Curious, never change. Flashback to, God, when would that have been? 09, 2010, yeah. a good minute ago. Our bestie, Jesse, who Zane's been friends with for 17 years. We're three years away from 20, so yeah, 17. Wow. Her grandparents used to live like a couple blocks away from the beach in St. Joe, Michigan. A few times in the summer, we'd all pile into like two or three cars, road trip up to St. Joe, Michigan for the weekend and or the afternoon, swim in the beach, like the, it's not the ocean, it's the lake, Lake Michigan. I mean, it's big enough. I mean, it's big enough. And some of those waves were intense. Like, I mean, like huge. And those were so much fun. And then of course you'd have to eat a silver dollar pizza. Cause I mean, hello, it's a vibe. Anyway, one year in particular, she invited like some people from outside of the little clique and they weren't. They were not the vibe. Like, ruined it. Like, made everyone so freaking mad. Acting like fools on the beach, drinking, like, throwing trash over. Like, 
not a vibe, like not someone we wanted to be with. So a small group of us kind of like broke off from the main group and like we all headed back home together. And um, we actually stopped at this TJ Maxx because hello, I'm a bargain shopper. I actually bought a bag here. It was a red Michael Kors. I know I used to have a couple Michael Kors bags. Don't roast me in the comments. A red Michael Kors canvas tote. That, that thing was my rainy day bag and I absolutely loved it. Fun fact, that bag actually ended up going with us to the first movie from the Sex and the City franchise premiere and it ended up, what was that when it torrentially downpoured and we were all like stuck in the lobby at the movie theater? I don't remember. It did. I carried it because it was raining and I didn't want to get my speedy ruined. Anyway, that's my Michael Kors story. Okay, so a lot of ugly bags, but we did buy a pot for the Persian shield that's in the window in the kitchen, so she it's a way. She's a much bigger pot. She's moving on up. so good to be here <laughs> as we were pulling up to like Chicago and like all the crazy like interstates and highways and stuff I was just feeling like more and more excited and like happy to be here <laughs> listen I'm from small town Indiana like wh what you saw this week is like how Zane and I like grew up and and our background and everything <sighs> It just doesn't mean anymore. It never was, but I think going back just kind of reminded me how much I enjoy being here in Chicago land, even though like Chicago adjacent out here in the suburbs, but still, wow, when you can't door dash something at 8.30 p.m., that's what blew my mind away. I'm gonna end it here. It, it's been a long week. We left Sunday, we're back Saturday night. We, I can't even recap, but it, it was just nice being there, kind of supporting Laura. I mean, she didn't need us there. It was pretty clear after the first day, but you know, going through that, that's kind of important, especially when it's a, a loved one or a family member. And so you just want to be there to kind of like support them and just be like, hey, you know, I'm here. And uh, so I'm really glad that we did it, but I'm also really glad to be home. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining us. I have no idea how long this vlog is, but if you made it to this point, good for you. Drop some, drop a lemon 
down in the comments let me know you made it this far because it was a big one it was, it was a doozy thank you for joining zane and i wish laura good luck down in the comments she has a follow-up in three months just to make sure that this nipped it in the bud but i'm feeling pretty confident yeah it's a good week thanks for coming along anyway guys till next time stay safe have fun i'll see you guys on sunday bye